ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mr. Fred Hawks. Go for Kevin Kennedy, everybody. Thanks for being here. Rio Bravo sticking out on these hours. Having a good time. Uh, a lot of people complimenting Albuquerque tonight. I'm glad to be in Albuquerque, aren't you? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I had a great Albuquerque day last week. Uh, I saw Holly Holm and Don Schrader in the same day. Isn't that awesome? Holly Holm and Don Schrader. Uh, unfortunately, the wrong one was naked. Uh, still, that's an accomplishment. Yeah, that's, that's noteworthy. Uh, so as you can probably see by my clothing and my hair, I am a married man. Basically, you don't give a shit what I wear when I leave the house. You know, I'm not going to get laid anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> A lot of strange things happen when you're married. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was sound asleep in the middle of the night, and all of a sudden, I'm awoken by a sharp elbow to my ribs. And I shoot up the bed, I'm like, oh my god, what is it? Is there somebody in the house? Is there a fire? And I look over, and my wife's looking back at me, and she just goes, I can't sleep with you breathing. <laughs> Like, Jesus Christ, I guess that's an irreconcilable difference right there. <laughs> Can't really help you with that one, sweetheart. Please. So we got kids. Who, who has kids out there? Woo! You still got the energy to raise your hand. Good for you. <laughs> now, I got two daughters. Uh, yeah, they look a lot more like my wife than they do me, uh, especially in the genitals. You know, like, judging by their genitals, you can't even tell they're my kids. It's like they're strangers. <laughs> Nothing at all. Um, now, that's one thing my wife and I, we agree on, you know, we're, we have two kids and we are done. And so my wife, she wants me to get a vasectomy. Chief <laughs> Chair, you can go ahead and go downstairs. Uh, and I do not want to get a vasectomy, so that means that now, at the age of 41, married 12 years with two kids, I am once again buying condoms. <laughs> That's sad, isn't it? Yeah, I was bummed, so to, to cheer myself up, I bought a big case of those Magnums, you know, the big ones. Uh, I'll be honest, they don't fit, but uh, kind of hoping I'll grow into them if I... I drink enough beer here at Rio Bravo, you know, does it work like that? You grow into a big beer dick or something? <laughs> now, I'll, uh, I'll give some advice in case we have any guys out there who are thinking about getting married, okay? Uh, as soon as you get married, the anal sex stops. <laughs> now, in my case, it was because my wife made my boyfriend move out immediately. <laughs> Which I thought was very inconsiderate. Uh, I miss Larry. Uh, so uh, when my wife and I first got together, you know, when we first had our first date, like one of the, the initial things she told me was that she's an atheist. And uh, I thought, oh, that's cool. But then later on, when we had the sexy time, for the first time ever uh, afterwards, she told me that she thought it was like a religious experience. And I thought, well, goodness, like, what does that mean? They, like, you saw God or you heard the angels? She says, no, Fred, it means I have a burning bush now. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> You've worn a rubber. Uh, well, a few years ago, uh, my wife and I, we had both put on some weight. And uh, things were kind of slowing down in the bedroom because of that. Uh, so we, we, Decided, you know, we need to speed things up a little bit, get it going in there. So we decided to do some role playing. You guys ever do the role playing? Yeah. We enjoyed it, you know. Uh, we get naked and she would play with my roles for a little while. I play with her roles for a little while. At that point, we were winded, so we we took a break and we, we shared a cinnamon roll. 
And then we topped it all off with a little game of guess where I've hidden the Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Here's some advice here, Gary. Uh, if you ever play that game, uh, once you find it, do not eat the Tootsie Roll. I learned that the hard way. It is. So I'm also starting to suspect that my wife likes rough sex. Um, it's nothing physical, it's just that every time we get done having sex, she goes, that was rough. That was really rough, Frank. Isn't that wife jokes? Like, uh, am, I, am I already in trouble even though she's not here? We're gonna find out about this, huh? No, it's not all bad. Uh, like, uh, recently my wife and I, we achieved something sexually that had been eluding us the entire 12 years, all right? We had simultaneous orgasms, everybody. Simultaneous orgasms, yeah. Yeah, I was by myself in the garage. Uh, and she was with the gardener out in his truck. But still, hey, I think that counts, right? Good for us. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, you know, I'll say something uh, not too popular here, uh, but don't worry, I'm, I'm going somewhere with it. Uh, I don't like Christianity, everybody. Okay, I know. Way to connect with the audience, Fred. You know, insult, insult the most popular religion on the planet. But no, it's not because of like the Crusades or because, you know, churches don't pay taxes, or all the pervasive molestation. I can let that go, all right? Um, everybody has a, a bad couple thousand years. Um, the reason I don't like Christianity is that is why Chick-fil-A is closed on Sundays. <laughs> That's what pisses me off. You know? I don't know what it is about Sundays. That's always when I have, like, the the biggest craving for that gay-hating chicken that they had at Chick-fil-A. I remember that from a few years ago. You guys remember that when the Chick-fil-A came out against gay marriage? Uh, when my wife and I heard that, we were outraged. And we swore to one another, never again would we set foot in a Chick-fil-A. And that's why we only use the drive through Four times a week tops, everybody, because you've got to stand up for what you believe in. Don't you think? Jeez. Larry. <laughs> Larry's out of my mind. But no, I, I do like gay guys very much, so. Uh, like, the, most of them are very nice, you know, they, they like to party, you know, they can dance. If you're just like a little nice to them to blow you, they're great guys, you know? But, but, uh, I did, however, meet a rude gay guy one time, okay? One rude gay guy. And he says to me, he says, uh, Fred, you know, if you were gay, you would be what we call a bear. And I was like, a bear? You mean like I'm big and hairy? And he goes, no, silly, that means barely any of us would want to fuck you. <laughs> Hurt my little straight feelings. <laughs> I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm here tonight because uh, being here means that I am not at the casino, all right? And uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I struggle with a gambling addiction. Um, but recently I went 30 days without gambling. Yeah. And then I went to the ceremony for that and my sponsor gave me a chip. <laughs> and I was like, it's kind of a dick move. I, uh, Makes me want to play some poker, you know? So I've been at the fucking casino every day since then. I should have known my sponsor was not on my side, though. Because <laughs> as he hands me the chip, he's like, Fred, congratulations on 30 days of no gambling. I bet you five grand you can't make it another 30 days. And I was like, you're on, you son of a bitch. And he said, give me five grand, dumbass. <laughs> what are you going to do? I should have known I had a problem with gambling uh, several years ago. Uh, I lost $22,000 because I bet against the Harlem Globetrotters. Uh, now in my defense, okay, I got 10 to 1 odds, and I thought they were probably due for a loss. But 
retrospect, I should have known better, you know? But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm 41, everybody, and uh, I think I'm at that demographic where, like, the commercials on, on TV about, like, the boner pills are, like, aimed at me. Uh, and, uh, and they always say the same thing. They say, uh, make sure your heart is healthy enough for sex. Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. And I'm a rule follower, too, so I call my doc. I'm like, hey, doc, uh, is my heart healthy enough for me to lay flat on my back for four minutes? I don't want to take any chances, doc. Is it, is it healthy enough for me to, to ignore my wife's disappointment as I roll off to sleep? Oh, thank goodness, everybody. I appreciate you being here. Rio Bravo, Mike Sprint Hawks. Rio Bravo, Kevin Kennedy.